What comes to my mind when Libra unplugged? Wow, a crawler crane that can drive without being plugged in, fully battery powered and able to operate for an eight to 10 hours a day. That's incredible. That's what comes to my mind. We decided to buy a battery powered electric crane because uh, the world is moving at a different pace and we need to move away from diesel and be more environmentally friendly. And we were very excited when we come out and see that Lieber had a battery solution to a crawler crane. Um, the way the UK is moving is in driving sustainability. We wanted to be the flag bearers for the UK in driving the right behaviours for plant and equipment. I'm Amy Jacobs, uh, crawler crane operator at Old Oak Common HS2, operating the LR1160 unplugged. So the, the main difference between a diesel and an electric crawler crane is that there's less noise and it does operate a little bit smoother. All you have is the hydraulics that you can hear, which is nothing compared to an engine running all day. So it's love to stay on the electric crane uh, for a long time if I can. As you can tell, in the area that we're working in, we're very confined within uh, residential areas. Uh, so the impact from construction machinery is, is quite high and quite uh, risky uh, in terms of air pollution. Uh, so having that kind of technology on here helps us demonstrate our uh, commitment to reducing our impacts on the local community and the area in general. HS2 also have a desire by 2029 all HS2 construction sites will be diesel free. So this is a very good start uh, for uh, the project in general and for the whole scheme for HS2 to promote that uh, type of machinery and, and innovation. I think my advice would be for other contractors in the world who are interested in dabbling in the electric cranes is to try it. Why would you not try it? It's the future. I think it's, it's somewhere we're all going to have to be at, at one point. Okay, we're early adopters. We're the first ones with these cranes. But down the line, I think we're all going to need to go that way to save the world, to save the environment, to save everything we're doing. A lot of large companies, HS2 especially, know this, they're buying into this. If the contractor buys into this, we need to be able to provide the cranes for this and to build a more sustainable future for everyone.